Our new film tells the story of the infamous Hatton Garden heist in 2015. This is the biggest theft in history. A gang of criminals, including some very active pensioners, drilled this hole through the two feet thick concrete walls of the vault and then forced open safety deposit boxes containing cash, jewellery and other valuables now estimated at up to £25 million in value. It's been described as the largest burglary in English legal history. It's a story that caught the public's imagination. So The One Show has asked me to see what I can find out about the real Hatton Garden. There is no place like Hatton Garden. It's a unique concentration of jewellery shops. I don't think you'll find this anywhere else. My mum got her wedding ring from Hatton Garden, so it's an idea of tradition. I wanted to come down here and have a look. It sits perfectly with your ring. It's the diamond capital of London. The area has been the centre of London's diamond trade for hundreds of years, and one man who's seen the area evolve is 94-year-old Robert Holt. Remarkably, he's still working here today. It's something special because people know each other, and many of them have been there nearly as long as I have. We get together and have a drink, and it's, uh, it's a bit of a family situation. But today, I'm meeting one of the new kids on the block. I've been doing quite a few custom-made pieces. Um, it's all handmade from scratch. 31-year-old diamond mounter Alex Tomlinson. He tells me why, as an aspiring young jeweller, Hatton Garden is the place to be. If you want to be the best and you want to be at the top, then you just got to take a leap of faith and come down. What would you say is the most important thing about working here? To have everything at my fingertips is essential. You've got your diamond dealer next door, you've got your bullion dealer down the road. Everything is quite close and in a nice hub. At the centre of that hub is the One Ton Pub, the ideal place for Alex to introduce me to some more of the locals. I've been in Hatton Garden now for nearly 30 years. Patrick Wyatt is one of Hatton Garden's many bespoke jewellers. He felt you were treading in the footsteps of generations and generations. The quality of work here is unsurpassed. It's the best in the world. The lifeblood of Hatton Garden is the apprentices. Jewellery designer Jeff Murray has been working in Hatton Garden for 13 years after landing work experience there when he was just 19. So you have young 16-year-old guys coming out of school, coming yeah. to work in a workshop, try out to learn a trade, learning how it's done and being part of the fabric of Hatton Garden. Um, I loved it. As I talk to the guys, their passion for this place and their jewellery is clear. But sitting between the city of London and the West End, this is an area of prime real estate. And there is concern that other businesses will move in and change the face of Hatton Garden for good. The principal threat is rent. Our rent has just gone up 65%. And 65%? Yeah, mounters and polishers and setters are now leaving Hatton Garden and that affects the community. So what does that mean for rising talent like Alex? And some of the spaces that are on offer that are affordable are very small or they're in the basement with not much light and that poses a big problem. Could you envisage going somewhere else? I wouldn't want to but it's becoming more and more a reality. So how does that make you feel? Well, it's quite worrying. I mean you're not sure on the future of your business. Their concerns are also shared by other local businessmen like Gary Williams. He's working to save Hatton Garden's future by helping to establish a business improvement district. Gary, what's a business improvement district? The businesses in the area pay a small levy on the business rates and hopefully over the five years we'll have an investment of about two and a half million pounds to spend on improving the area to support the remaining of the jewellery trade in Hatton Garden. I think it's good to keep the jewellery trade in Hatton Garden, but what I'm worried about is if the workshops will be able to survive. You and I and, and the rest of the trade, we need to keep educating the developers yeah. on what we need at each stage. When I was filming the Hatton Garden job, I didn't really know much about the place or the people that work here. But I hope the efforts they're making to hang on to the character of London's old jewellery quarter work out. And the Hatton Garden never ceases to keep its sparkle.